coffee production training. Types of coffee and growing zones. There are two types of coffee, Arabica and Robusta. For best yield, plant Arabica coffee in highland areas and Robusta in low altitude areas. Have your soil tested to find out if it's suitable for coffee growing and the type of fertilizer to apply. Coffee grows well in deep, well-drained and fertile soil. Preparation of the land for coffee farm. Cut off excess trees and stumps in the site during the dry season as these might harbor pests and diseases. Leave or plant some trees or bananas to provide light shade to the coffee plants. Remove weeds by pulling, digging or spraying. Due to climate change, prevent soil erosion by constructing soil and water conservation structures such as contour terraces, bands and grass strips, digging planting holes. Mark the field where the coffee is to be planted with pegs. For robusta coffee, space the pegs at 10 feet by 10 feet to get 450 trees in an acre. Arabica coffee is spaced at 8 feet by 8 feet to get 680 trees in an acre. Dig round holes 2 feet deep and 2 feet wide, putting the top soil on the upper side and subsoil on the lower side of the hole at least 3 months before planting. Refill the holes with topsoil mixed with manure and if available, mix two bottle tops of DAP fertilizer at planting. Planting Obtain all planting materials from Uganda Coffee Development Authority certified nurseries. Reject seedlings with symptoms of yellowing, weak and small stem seedlings. Water the seedlings before and after planting to protect them from dying off. Open up the center of the field holes sufficiently to fit the size of the potted soil. After removing the polythene, shade your seedling after planting. After six months, bend the plant towards sunset direction without the leaves touching the ground to stimulate growth of suckers. Hold it in place with a peg. Allow only two to three healthy looking suckers from the base of the plant to grow. Remove weeds in your young coffee garden of up to a year old by digging, slashing and mulching. In your old coffee garden, don't dig because then you will cut the roots. Just spray wearing a protective gear or slash outside the canopy. Women and children are not allowed to spray. Ring weed below the canopy to avoid damage to the plant. When using herbicides, don't spray on coffee leaves to avoid damaging your coffee plants. Pruning. Remove unproductive stems, broken branches and suckers by using secateurs or pruning saw to reduce pest infestation. When your coffee is 7 to 9 years and above, cut one branch from the main stem of each plant every year so that the entire garden is pruned over a 3-year period. The cut should be one foot from the ground and slanting outwards to prevent water from settling in which may cause rotting of the stump and the rest of the coffee plant. Mulching You can also use maize straw, bean trash, banana leaves and other grasses to conserve moisture in the soil, add nutrients, control weeds and soil erosion. Place your mulch one foot away from the coffee stem to prevent collar rot and attack from ants and termites. Soil fertility Poor soils will give you poor yields of coffee. To maintain a healthy and fertile soil, add a basin of manure around each coffee plant once a year, two feet from the plant at the beginning of a rainy season. Also, use inorganic fertilizers such as CAN, NPK and urea. Get help from an extension worker when using fertilizers for the first time. Pest and Disease Management Scout your garden for pests and diseases. For black twig borer, prune all affected parts and burn them. Stump the coffee trees if infestation is extreme. Reduce on excessive shade as these harbor pests. For root mealy bug, uproot and burn the entire affected plant in case of heavy infestation. For trees showing early signs of attack, use recommended systemic insecticide. For coffee wilt disease, there is no cure and once infected, the tree will die. Uproot and burn infected coffee trees on site. After, disinfect farm tools with fire or jig. Plant resistant varieties. Harvest and post-harvesting A mature, well-managed coffee tree should give you at least 5 kg of dried chiboko or 2.5 kg of parchment. When harvesting, do not strip. 
Harvest only fully ripe cherries. They produce better quality coffee, which fetches more money. Keep harvested coffee in baskets. Processing coffee. You can either wet or dry process your coffee. In wet processing, which has the best results, put freshly harvested cherries into sufficient water to allow unfilled fruits and other materials float and remove them. Pulp the clean cherries within 12 hours after harvesting. Keep the freshly pulped coffee beans in a container for 12 to 24 hours to allow controlled fermentation. Wash the fermented coffee beans to remove mucilage. Dry the beans on wire trays, wire mesh or tarpaulin. In dry processing, dry the cherries on tarpaulins or concrete floor without removing the pulp immediately after harvesting. Do not heap coffee which is not yet dry to avoid moldiness. Dry your coffee to moisture content of 11 to 13 percent. To earn more money from your coffee, remove its husks by hulling and sell clean coffee beans. Storage of harvest. Store only dry coffee in bags and place on raised pallets of at least half a foot to avoid wetting by ground moisture and one foot away from walls and ceiling to avoid dampening of coffee. Record keeping. Please remember to keep records of every activity and transaction made to enable you assess the profitability of your coffee enterprise and to plan. For more information, contact your village agent or an extension worker.